I... I... I think I'm gonna go with door eight. Okay. Eight it is. Yeah. All right, then. That means June's gotta go through seven. What? Why? What? If the six of us are gonna keep going without leaving anyone behind, there are only three ways we can do it. Have three, five, four, or... There are no other combinations. In other words, three and four and seven and eight can never go through the same doors. You get it now? Oh no, you're saying we aren't gonna see each other again for a long time. Uh, hey, come on. You're making it sound like we're never gonna see each other again. We gotta split up, but only for a while. This is just like when we went into the four and five doors. We got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Yeah, probably. Probably? I'm sure they're gonna connect somewhere. Why? What makes you think so? If they don't, then neither team can get through door nine. In other words, the game would end right here. Zero's been on top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the nine door. Hmm. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna see each other again. I promise. Yes. Promise? <sighs> you guys are done, right? Anyway, that's pretty much it. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I figure I'll take seven and Clover can take eight. Any problems with that, Clover? Whatever. All right. We're ready to go, then. Let's move. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Then shall we go? It's open. Okay. Hurry! <sighs> June. Jumpy. What the hell are you doing? One second left. Yeah. Oh, it stopped. Pointless. What an unpleasant girl. I bet she's not very popular with the boys. Hmm. Maybe pairing these two together was a mistake. Too late now. I better catch up to them. Ah, oh, it's a dead end. There's a door on the left, though. A laboratory? Huh. Oh, that doesn't sound very pleasant. I don't like the look of this place. Me either. But there aren't any other doors. It's not like we have a lot of choices. Jinpei. Huh? Please. You first. Ugh. Fine. You know, I think the window looks into another room. Maybe it's for monitoring something. What the hell? Ugh, it looks so creepy. It's kind of like that doll is waiting for surgery. This is a laboratory, right? I'd say it's more like it's waiting to be experimented on. Ooh, huh. It's creepy either way. You don't think that thing's gonna suddenly sit up or something, do you? Well, I don't know. I mean, look at all those cables sticking out of it. If we press the wrong button, I don't know. <sighs> Stop it. Just thinking about it is terrifying. Wait, where's Clover? <laughs> what is she? Are you okay? What are you talking about? What? I'm just worried about you. You've been real quiet. What? I can't be quiet if I want to? Well, I mean, of course you can. I, I just... Okay, then. If I can be quiet if I want, just leave me alone, okay? Come on, you know I can't do that. We gotta work together. Junpei, you just don't get it! My brother's not the kind of person who just leave me behind! Something happened to him! Something... something bad. Yeah. What happened? Look, just don't bother me, okay? Hey, wait! Clover! Hold on! That way is... I told you to leave me alone! 
over. Watch out above you. What the heck? What's going on here? Hang on. I I'll get it open. Oh, for crying out. You'll never do it on your own. Uh -huh. uh, damn it! It's not moving. Wait! Are you gonna give up? Just like that? No, I'm not giving up. If it is, then there's gotta be a way to open it. Just what I was thinking, Lotus. Oh, yeah.
It worked. What? Huh? It's running on its own? It certainly looks like it. Uh, isn't that kind of weird? What? Well, it's not connected to the main computer, right? There's just this keyboard and monitor. The only cable connected to this thing is the power cable we just plugged in. So, why is it working? Maybe it's a wireless display. Uh, a wireless display? Yes, it connects to your computer wirelessly. Have you been living in a cave, Junpei? Is that normal? Yes, at least where I worked. Oh. Oh, it stopped. Pass with a colon. Looks like we need to enter a password. Again? Uh, there must be a hint around here somewhere. Could you go take a look? Yeah, I'm on it. What are you going to do? I'll see if I can do something about this on my own. On your own? Yep, on my own. Lotus? All right. Let's kick some ass. Uh... Wait, what? Didn't expect that, did you? Of course I didn't! You're typing so fast, I, I can't even see your fingers. What kind of job do you have? What are you? I'm unemployed at the moment. I used to work for a cybersecurity firm, but I... quit. Why? Huh? Oh, um... I see. Oh, uh, what are you doing now? I'm going to try and brute force it. Brute? A brute force attack. A brute force attack. It checks every possible... I'm writing a program. It's not the most elegant given the circumstance. No, but back to what we were talking What were we talking about? The wireless display. It's kind of strange if you think about it, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> How do I put it? Well, let's say you write a program that calculates an addition problem for you. All right? So you enter one plus one. The screen will show you two. See? Isn't that strange? Uh, no? Oh, come on now. Of course a caveman like you would think it was strange. You said so just a minute ago. Hmm? You're just not getting it, are you? Who calculated one plus one? The, uh, the, the main computer, right? Yeah, but someone who grew up in a cave wouldn't know that, right? They'd probably think that this thing here, the monitor, is doing the calculating. And once they've decided that, they'll start examining this monitor. They might poke the screen or something. Ah, I see the color changes when I press it here. Then they might investigate the hardware on the inside. Oh, I see. 
So this wire supplies the power. Eventually, they might even cut the wires. Ah, yes. Just as I expected. When this wire is cut, no results appear. Therefore, it must be this device which does the calculations. Oh. But the truth is that, just like you said, the computer is doing the calculating. But these cave people wouldn't know that because they have no idea that the monitor and the computer are connected wirelessly. So, uh, what are you trying to say? Nothing, really. It's just, I thought, maybe. What if the relationship between human beings and our brains is like that? Huh? Well, let's say you stick a bunch of electrodes into parts of the brain. A scientist examining the signals they send out might say, hmm, interesting. So stimulating this part of the brain causes the person to see colors. That must mean this neuron cluster controls that function. Okay, let's see what happens when I cut out this part. Ah, just what I thought. Cutting off this part causes that function to cease. Therefore, human thought processes must occur in the human brain. See? Doesn't it sound the same? Mm. Maybe the brain is just an output device. Like this monitor. Maybe our thought processes actually occur somewhere else. In a main body. We just don't know it. We never even think about it. Just like those cave people wouldn't know about wireless communications, we can't imagine that there's some unknown medium that transfers information into our brains where we experience that information as thoughts. Um, the brain is just an output device. Human thought actually occurs somewhere else. <laughs> that's just crazy talk. Maybe that's the cause of Seven's amnesia. If memory is actually stored somewhere else, in some sort of main body somewhere, maybe he hasn't forgotten anything at all. He's just having a difficult time accessing his memories because the monitor, his brain, has been damaged. Huh. I suppose that would explain aphasia and blindsight, too. Perhaps they actually can't speak or see. The monitor just isn't functioning properly. Hmm. I guess people with prosopagnosia could be suffering from the same thing. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Prosopagnosia? What? You've never heard of prosopagnosia? No. What is it? Well, put simply, it means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. So they can't remember faces, which is how most people recognize each other. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Usually they can make do by associating people with other things. Their voices, their clothes, their hair. Does that mean other people's faces look like blanks? No. No, I don't think so. Well, you've seen monkeys, like in a zoo, right? To you and me, all the monkey faces look the same, even though they've obviously got faces. It's almost impossible for a human to distinguish between them. The zoo staff that works with them will learn to identify different monkeys eventually. But you or I couldn't, unless one had a scar or something else to set it apart. That's how people would be to someone with prosopagnosia. Prosopagnosia? Ah, I didn't even know that kind of thing existed. And, um, uh, what were we talking about? The idea that your brain is just an output device, like a monitor. Are you serious about that stuff? Not really. I was just kidding for about half of it. What about the other half? Well, I guess I was just adulting. Mm hmm. <sighs> Not funny. <laughs> it's nothing more than a story I made up out of boredom. I'll take it seriously. It was the first thing that came to mind, and I just talked about it to kill time. But, looks like I don't need to talk anymore. Why? I don't have to kill time any longer. Oh, then you finished that brute whatever thing? I certainly did. And let's see what we got. <laughs> the screen changed again. What the hell is that? No idea. Looks like a puzzle. Huh? Uh, aren't you gonna, I don't know, do more computer stuff? No, I can't do anymore. It won't let me do any more programming. See? The keyboard. Nothing. So, there's nothing more I can do. Um... Well, I guess I'll leave this to you then, Junpei. What? Let me take a break, all right? I did my part. Yeah, uh, I guess you're right. No problem. And make sure you know when you should thank people. Now, I better take care of this myself. Nope.
What's up? I, um, I wanted to ask you something. Hmm? Junpei, you went into door five with my brother, right? Did you hear him say, like, anything weird? Huh? Well, let me think. Sorry, Clover. I can't really think of anything. I mean, he did mention that his hearing exceeds that of a regular person, or something like that, but that's about it. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, wait a minute. Hmm? Look, I, I don't know if I should ask you things, but if you don't mind, uh, I was hoping you could tell me if... Uh, is Snake, uh, I mean, was he born... You're talking about his eyes? Yeah. No, he wasn't born blind. When he was a kid, he got in an accident. A really bad car accident. He couldn't see after that. And his arm. His arm? Yeah. My brother's left arm is... Um, it's not like a normal person's arm. It's fake. It's not a real arm. The accident hurt him really bad. To save him, they... They had to cut off his arm. Oh. Uh... <laughs> is that all you wanted to ask me? Look, I'm, I, I'm sorry for making you talk about all that painful stuff. It's not that. Thank God we got out of there. Yeah, finally. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right, let's go. Okay. Damn, none of these open. They're all locked. How about that one? Let's hope this is the door with the prize. Jumpy! Huh? June? Santa! Seven! Hey, what are you guys doing here? What? But we didn't... Hey, guys! Could you come take a look at this? Hey, on the wall. A map of the ship's interior? It says sea deck. So it's the map for this floor, then? Door seven, and... Door 8. Yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. Yeah, isn't that what I said? We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find Door 9. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open Door 9. And that's how the Nonary game works. Wait a sec. This leads to... Oh! You've got to be kidding me.
We may as well go. Yeah. Oh, I uh, almost forgot. We should keep this. Ready? I'm gonna open it. I knew it. We're back. In the hospital room. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. The six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. You solved the puzzles in the opera and then met one another. At any rate, I, I know I said I was sure you'd come back. I didn't think it would happen. Well, we saw each other again. Anyway, I said we, we found the key. The key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. Here. Whoa. <laughs> nice catch. Jeez. I see. So I'm going to let you hold on to that, all right? Yeah, on it. Well, I've got something for you, too, then. Here, it's the Saturn key card. We found it in the kitchen. I might lose it. It's probably better if you hold on to it. That way it won't be my fault if it gets lost. Yeah, on it. So how many unused keys do we have now? There's the Earth key we found in the lab. The Jupe... And this, I'll keep them... The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long, straight hallway, right? Yeah. If the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. Then, next to the stairs... Wait! What about door three? Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as seven and eight. It just lead us back to the big hospital room. There's no point to seeing what's on the other side of that door. There is a point. At least there is for me. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Snake might be on the other side of door three. Very well. I'll be coming with you then. I've had a nice long rest. I, so, Seven, you'll help me, won't you? Huh? Damn. So I'm going with you, huh? Yes, you are. All right. Okay, we're heading out. Be careful. Oh. Didn't think I'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. Oh, don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. The rest of us can't open the Nine Door. Ah, the truth comes out. Okay, we're off. All right, we should get moving too. Huh? Get moving? Where are we going? Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? Let me explain. Oh, I get it. We're gonna see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. Yes. If we're lucky, we might find Snake. And here's the Jupiter symbol on the keyhole. All right, Junpei. Open it, if you please. Yeah, on it. Great! Back to the beginning! You sure this is a good idea? What do you mean? Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. Of course there's a reason. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. Huh? This. The Saturn key card. And the Earth key? I'm lost. Don't you remember, Sam? On Sea Deck, where we are. And next to the elevator. And on. There was a keyhole with. So the two keys. Should let. <laughs> yes! Alright. What do you say? Lotus and I will search the. Sounds good. We have no idea what's on, so don't go too. There's a card reader next to the left. Then let's try out this. Great! It All right. Oh, it only has the upside-down triangle on it. <sighs> I guess there's no up button. Well, we may as well try pushing this one. It... it opened! Look, Jumpy! <sighs> Sweet! It opened! W w wait What? Uh... 
<sighs> Come to think of it, the lower... An elevator heading to a submerged floor. Hey, wait a minute. This elevator came up from somewhere under us, right? Um, well, yes, I guess it did. It didn't open right away after you pressed the button. There was a motor noise, like it was moving, and then it opened. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So, take a look inside. <laughs> it's not wet at all. Oh, you're... Well... Let's... Test it. Yeah, what? Now... I'll just put one foot... Oh, there's... E and C. All right, I'll push E. Okay, that's... Yep, not a C. What does that mean? How can E... Well, here's the elevator shaft and... Here, uh, let me... I see. The shape of the inside keeps it all from filling with water? Yeah, I think that's what's going on. So I'm gonna go down and check it out. You stay here, all right? Um, but... Come on, just do it, all right? I I'm coming with you! Huh? Hey, wait! Oh, crap, it closed! I can't just let you go alone, you know? Ah, <sighs> jeez. Looks normal. I'll knock it off. It's just like I thought. This part hasn't flooded. Come on, just look around. There's no water here. <sighs> You're right. It's not- See? But there's a whole lot of water. Yeah, right on top of us. What's gonna happen if the ceiling breaks? We'd probably die. Oh no. Don't be so casual about something like that. At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can, once we're done looking around down here. Lotus and Santa might already be back. Okay, good idea. Now then... Iron bars. Well, we can't go over there. Right. Then maybe... Well... It looks like there's a long straight hallway down this way. Something's written on the door at the end. Wait, is that... Let's check. I knew it! This is a numbered door! But we can't do anything with only the two of us. We better head back and let everyone know. Yes. Wait, what's this? Is this the map for E-Deck? I should take it with me. Huh, so you guys found door one. So now we've located two new doors. This- You know, it is interesting that E-Deck wasn't flooded. Well, we don't really know if all of E-Deck is safe. We only checked the area around the elevator. Yeah, even so, it's still very interesting. You said the sixth door was there, right? Yes. Then that means Zero planned all this out. Even the sinking. That would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. That's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. Yeah, I wonder how long it took. I... It would have been a ton. Well, that does go along with what Ace was saying. The most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to a whole lot of cash. Yes, it does make sense. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Um. Yeah? Um, I don't think- Yeah, you're right. Well, June, Junpei, and I should be able to open door one. Huh? You guys leaving me behind? Just kidding. All right, let's go. Hey! Where the hell did you guys go? Seven? Hmm. Um. What's wrong? What happened? What the hell kind of question is that? Snake was... Snake is... Snake is... Dead. He died, just as the ninth man did. Oh my god, that's not true, is it? Uh, we should make sure. Yeah, right, we should. Wait, not that way. What? Why not? 
I stuck a screwdriver in there to keep the door. It's not locked. <sighs> the shower room. Look, I put a broom in there too to keep the room. That means we can get in without going through the number door. Yeah. Then let's go. This wasn't open when we passed here before. Well, let's keep going. Oh, it smells horrible. Ugh, yeah, this is pretty awful. Oh, ooh. Where is he? Where's Snake? There. June, you should stay here. But... Please, just do me a favor, okay? Mm. Uh. Uh. <laughs> just like Ace said, just like the Ninth Man, the detonator in his bracelet set off the bomb in his gut. Oh, God. The... The bone is coming out of his left arm. It's definitely an open fracture. Oh, the face. It's horrible. Yeah. No mistake about it. <laughs> Snake was probably murdered. Chances are he was killed the same way the Ninth Man was. It's pretty straightforward. Not that... First, then, and waited. Once that he probably was a unfortunate a dead snake, and then that I see you need it, it wouldn't open. Yeah, but I don't. Where could zero? I think. Zero is one of us. Hmm. Huh? Maybe you and June should check it out first, and then report back to us. All right, let's- Right! Here it is! The Mercury card reader. We're using the card set- Yeah. I found it when we- I think seven- Anyway, let's- I guess the elevator works now. Jumpy, I know it's- What's with- Well, I'm happy we were put together. Uh, you know it's just for searching E-Deck, right? Even so- Oh, first we need to find out if the elephant. Just like we did. Oh, here it is. I knew it. It's not wet at all. Let's go. Yes. Look, nearly all of the buttons are destroyed. Yeah, only the C and bottom button can be pushed. We're on C deck right now. So yeah. This is the bottom deck. Hey, over there. This is a numbered door. This is the eighth one we found. There were two numbered... They were doors. Three more doors. And the door we... It was a... That means... Do you think... Yeah, I, the next one's... Finally! Yeah. You don't look very happy about it, though. It's not that. You're right. We should keep our fingers crossed. Let's head back. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right. Just double checking, but everyone wrote their code name and a door number they want, right? Yes, just like you told us earlier. Can't believe we're voting here. We need to make the whole thing fair. Blah de blah. Just hurry it up, Miss. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's. The first one said Ace requests door one. Yes, I do. Would you like me to explain why? No, we don't have time for that. Sorry. Let's keep going. Next is Santa. He wants... Yeah, that's what I wrote. Clover wants one, Lotus wants two, and Seven also wants two. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, there is no way I'm going anywhere with the Elephant Man. No, there'd be no point to the voting if we let people change their choices because of stuff like that. But... 
Just give it up, look. It's not like I want to hang out with some exhibitionist grandma. I am not an exhibitionist. I'm wearing clothes. Barely. So, last I checked, that Maybe. Nobody wants to have to look at a chick who looks like a half-naked raisin. Oh, I'm gonna kill you! Oh, no. Let's go! Junpei? We uh, right. June wants door six. Yes. I don't really have a reason. I just felt like it. So this was everyone's vote. Ace and Clover requested door... Seven and Lotus requested door two. Santa and June requested door six. Then the door I should choose is... Okay, the last one is mine. I want to go through, 